Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Jasmine update. As you can see, uh, the market is actually taking a huge dump to the downside. So we want to see what exactly is happening here with the Jasmine price set. But before I get into today's content, I just want to kindly ask you to help me spread this video by delicately tapping the like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. People looking for Jasmine content will not be able to find this video much more easily. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, I would encourage you to do so really because I do TA on Jasmine on a regular basis and without me running my mouth too much, let me actually get into the real stuff. So when we take a look at the price set from for early time from here we can actually see that uh yes we were looking at support right around uh, this one here so that was like 0.0058 dollars up to down to actually something like 0.005 uh, five dollars per jasmine there and you can see that that support was breached and it was broken to the downside it takes a day's resistance to try to get above it once twice and then we finally got rejected there but as i mentioned in the last video i was actually emphasizing that yes uh, we had support and confluence at the point uh, five fibre retracement level, which is not a fibre retracement level to be honest, but it's something that is really, really conventional in markets, and uh, people believe that it's a strong level. So yeah, but the ultimate uh, fibre retracement level that we were looking at was something like point six one eight fibre retracement level, and that's something like uh, point zero zero four eight dollars per jasmine and i was expecting some support to come in there and as you can see if you look back you can actually see that there was a little bit of you know uh, important price action right at that level so uh, this is my best case scenario in the immediate short term here on the jasmine prices so that we can see uh you know somewhat of uh, bounce off of that uh, 0.618 fibre retracement level now is there any supporting argument that we can see that uh, we could have a bounce there uh, when we take a look at the RSI on a quality time frame, you can see that the RSI is in an uptrend here, as you can see, but uh, the price action is uh, in a net downtrend, as you can see right here. So this is actually good because it's bullish divergence. It's showing that um, the people, they are actually people buying Jasmine right at this level. So that's okay. That's really, really good. So in the immediate short term or right now, actually, because this is exactly where the price is sitting. So I'm expecting some support to show up right there. Um, also, when we take a look at the, you know, stochastic rsi on a daily time frame we can also see that we have actually been oversold for a very long time obviously it doesn't mean that um, if we are oversold we are going to have a bounce in, mid in the immediate short term but what i've noticed here with the jasmine price set is that there are times that we have been oversold right here the moment we get above the 30 mark there we can actually have a strong bounce as you can see the example here being you know the 16th of march when we had the price action here in the stochastic rsi getting above 30 you can see that we had a huge bounce right here uh, we had the same price action right here on the 17th of june 2022 get above that level and you can have you can see this probably that we have right here so uh, we'll be waiting to see uh, what happens here with the stochastic rsi but once we get above that 30 we could expect a rally right now we also looked at the rsi on a daily time frame and i was saying that um this zone that i highlighted right here around the you know 44 45 down to 38 something like that uh, is really really important that the RSI holds this level if we hold this level here and don't break below that level we have something like a bounce continuing to the upside this will be much confirmation that we are actually poised for some great price action here on the adjustment price to the upside right uh, still on the daily time frame uh, taking a look at the moving averages right here let me close the 200 day DMA you can see that uh, we are sitting right at the 100 daily moving average now why is this really really important you can actually see that um, the 100 daily moving average has been acting as resistance like for a very very long time since actually uh on this chart here on binance i think uh that's something like the first of march last year so until today this has been so not today really until uh something like uh, 12th of january uh this has been a resistance and we broke above that line there so it's really really interesting to see if we are actually going to get supported right at that level we are sitting right at that level so i mean it's it's really an intense moment especially for me because i've been looking at that level for a very long time there so uh we also pulling the field adjustment level here shows that uh, the 0.618 is sitting right around this level so yeah that's uh you know strong argument coming that we could have a bounce there but uh, to be honest nothing is a guarantee really here on the jasmine price chart. 200 dma when we also take a peek at the 200 dma when you also take a peek at the 200 dma you can see that the 200 dma right here on the top and the 100 dma are about to cross right here in something that could actually result in something like uh, you know a golden cross and that could actually send the price to the upside right here let me quickly show you my get io chart 
it's a little bit slow to load i don't know this this terminal is really really slow really so you can see that uh here the 200 and the 100 dma whenever they cross especially this point right here you could see what happened with the price that i saw them crossing to the upside could actually be something that is really really good for the jasmine price yet right now, uh, in the event that uh, the 200, the 100 DMA really doesn't hold the support, the 0.618 fibro adjustment level doesn't hold the support. It's exactly 0.0048 per Jasmine. Now, the ultimate support that we could actually be getting is in this point right here, starting at uh, 0.0044 down to something like 0.0036 or something like that. Now, we will be considering this as a back test of this falling voice that we have on the jasmine price set. and if the price set is going to get anywhere in this zone right here i'm planning to load up on my jasmine bags because uh i i think that we are going to have a strong bounce off of these lows right here and uh, the price target for this falling wedge, as I've already been mentioning, is something like, uh, you know, uh, point f uh, five point f sorry, 4.5 cents and uh, something like 11 cents, 9 to 11 cents. This is a good, good price target for this falling wedge right here. So the conservative price target on its own from the, you know, top of the support that we, you know, potentially could go down to. Um, is something like you know a 10x and easy 10x that will be really really nice and then the ultimate price target is something like a 20x that's really really good for the jasmine price set so yeah uh these are the things that i see in the immediate short term uh we are looking at immediate immediate short term support at the 0.618 fibro test level that's something like 0 0.0048 we are actually still there and uh, we are looking at that 100 dma to see if it's going to come in a strong support it has been acting as resistance for the longest time so i would really really expect it to be support at the moment but uh we also have got the you know the dxy you know it's really really has been strong this week but you can also see that there is no net decision that has been made right here let's quickly check the daily time frame and see what exactly is happening yeah we are dropping to the downside here yeah but um no decision just yet if we break above this level right here i expect more bleeding to show up in the crypto space but as i've already mentioned that um you know the ultimate ultimate uh worst case scenario for the jasmine price that is to come back and back test this falling wedge there and then we'll see from there whether we are getting that bounce right here right in the immediate short term though taking a look at bigger market players like bitcoin we can see that uh, yes we came up when a one, two, three, four, five to the upside now, the thing to expect is something like an ABC correction. Now we really don't know when um, you know the B leg is going to show up, but uh, it actually looks like on a four-hourly time frame. Let me quickly do that right here. We have completed the first five waves to the downside, so that's already one, two, three, four, five to the downside, and. Um, yeah if we have a bounce anywhere around these levels there you could also see that uh, there's a little bit of support right around these levels but we'll have to see bitcoin is looking a little bit weak right here but if this b leg is going to come up right here we could have a relief bounce on the jasmine prices as well so that's pretty much it from me obviously this is not financial advice it's just my own opinion but if you like the content don't forget to delicately tap the like button share the video with your friends and family and then i'll have to see you on the next one take care bye